endless columns of people patiently waiting in long queues to go through security check to enter one of Warsaw's old city squares. Many of them were passed by the ruling party from all over Poland, and they didn't hide their excitement that U.S. President Donald Trump had come to address them. Marek traveled from Wroclaw to see Trump in person. For him, the U.S. President is a rock star who fights against the dishonest media. Thousands of people came to Krasinski Square to listen what U.S. President Donald Trump has to say to them. But only a few hundred meters from there, these people behind me gathered to express their dissatisfaction with Donald Trump and his visit to Poland. Pavel from Warsaw is not a Trump fan. He came here to protest against the U.S. president because he sees his actions as harmful, not just for the U.S. and Poland, but for entire world. In the tense standoff between two opposing groups, police had to calm things down several times. Eventually, the U.S. president addressed the supporters, and after sharing words of strong support for Poland, he had a very important message for Russia. We urge Russia to cease its destabilizing activities in Ukraine and elsewhere, and its support for hostile regimes, including Syria and Iran, and to instead join the community of responsible nations in our fight against common enemies and in defense of civilization itself. In these days when U.S. relations with Germany and France have become somewhat strained, some analysts say visiting Borso sends a larger signal to European capitals. I think he's sending some message to, uh, to Berlin or to Paris, which he would visit, you know, France he would visit very soon, saying, why, you know, there are countries that I'd rather deal with. Uh, saying, saying to people in America as well, no, we, I'm not a Russian, I'm not a friend of Putin. I'm not going to make a deal with Putin at the expense of Poland. On the eve of Trump's visit, officials from both countries sign off on a memorandum in which the U.S. agreed to sell Poland the latest Patriot missile defense system. Trump also pushed for more energy deals, offering up U.S. natural gas to help reduce Poland's dependence on Russia. I'm counting on that after negotiations, which I know are already in progress. A long-term contract for the import of liquefied natural gas from the USA to our port will be signed. The second part of that question is, can we become a hub for the distribution of that gas to Central Europe? I'm convinced yes. And while the sun sets on the Polish capital, many Poles here are convinced that after this visit of the U.S. president, they're actually at the dawn of a new era for their country as one of the most important U.S. allies in Europe. Alyosha Milenkovic, CGTN, Warsaw.